this being Germany... <laughs> the ADAC men took charge of James's Merc. Guten Tag, Klaus. Hi. Vorwurz! <laughs> What's wrong with the car? His racing gearbox is going well. The equipment they had in the van was extraordinary, and the tests were very thorough. They used a computer to measure the boiling point of the Merc's brake fluid and a gizmo to check the roundness of its tyres. Well, there's a laser and everything. It was yeah. doing quite well, but then... Oh, dear. Chaser. What's a load of rubbish? <laughs> After this, things got worse. Oh, 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 oh. You did 140 miles an hour. Right? You did 140 miles an hour and your wheels... ...good. All very bad. You put a lot of rust. I felt it was time I put these German chappies straight on a few things. Martin Brundle war sehr gut manuring über die Auto. What was that you just said about Martin Brundle? I was just, I was just saying really how Martin Brundle said that this was really the finest rear drive chassis he'd ever driven. He never said any... He, he did... He had one. He did not say he Unluckily for you, May, what? I have Martin Brundle's number on my telephone. Well, he will confirm that he, he said that and that he had one. This, he claimed, was the best. Hello. He famously Hello. said that. Hello. Martin. Actually, I'll talk. Fine, Martin. No, get off. Let Martin, me, yes. no, let me <laughs> Martin. Morning, it's James from Top Gear. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. Are you somewhere exciting? Uh, well, I'm underneath a Mercedes 190 Cosworth, actually. Um, and the other two won't believe me when I say that you said, quite categorically, that this was the finest rear-drive chassis of any car in the world and the best you'd ever driven. When did I say that? I've had a few knocks on the head, but I don't remember saying that. I mean, it's not a bad engine, but no, I mean, it's really not that good. You, you need the M3 for the best chassis from, from around that time, I thought. Yeah, you see, that, that, that was always my belief, that people believed the M3 was better, and it, it sort of got this folkloric reputation, but everybody who knew what they were talking about, i.e. you, Ayrton Senna, knew that actually the Mercedes was the superior car. I don't remember Ayrton getting out and saying, that is the best rear-drive chassis I've ever been in. I think he got out and said, I'm really... Please thrash louder and Prost and all those guys. It's uh, overheating. Nicky Lauder and Alan Prost as well. That's absolutely. I mean, I didn't know that. You don't, you don't need to speak. To him. I do need to speak to him, uh, Martin. You've turned it off. He's he's catching an aeroplane to his second home. What did he say? He said he confirmed everything I said about him. He also says the engine is excellent and that the M3 was a mere shadow of what this car was. Did he? That's what he said. That's exactly what, That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. Right, he said. Okay. He right lower the board. car. Next, it was the turn of Mike Cosworth. Minor Alpo is the Einziger mit Blaser Eyebite. Mein Auto ist Designen von einer Deutsche. Yeah. Good. Okay. Just making it plain. I don't want him to mark it down because it's Belgian. As it happens, the ADAC man was impressed with my car. Good. All good. All good! <laughs> but it would now be humiliated by the much younger M3. I hate to say this, because it's verging on complimenting you, but your car is now actually quite cool and collectible, whereas that is just something driven by imbeciles. Meine Innereien waren wunderbar, ja? The best car? Sehr gut. Yeah, yeah, yes. No. Yes. <laughs> it, it is. As it turned out, it wasn't. Oh, uh, cracking, look at yeah, that. That's, that's the anti roll bar, isn't it? Do you think uh, it had an accident? Kaput. Kaput. It's kaput. Kaput's good. That's why you've got a different shock absorber. It's been botched together. It has clearly had a crash, hasn't it? 